Welcome to TCG. Hello and welcome back to Tap Gas Go. Today I am super excited to announce the Mystery Booster Box. This is the very first time I'm ever doing something like this and I couldn't have done it without you guys because if it wasn't for the channel, I most likely wouldn't have bought it because I'm the type of person that usually buys singles. So, let's crack this thing open and let's see what we get. So, this is, for those at home who don't know anything about the Mystery Booster Box, it is a box that is based off of reprints. And the reprints are from earlier on in Magic's history. So, if I am correct, this Mystery Booster Box, or this package... I should say, has about over 1,100 different types of cards in it. So, it's a little different than your standard booster box, because your standard booster box comes with usually a little over 100, but maybe 200 sometimes, and sometimes even 300, but definitely not over 1,000. So, let's start cracking these things open, and... Uh, hope for the best here is the first booster pack in the back it pretty much basically the same old thing it comes with 15 cards and if I remember correctly it doesn't come with any lands but it does come with um, your standard rare mythic rare your uncommons or commons so and one guaranteed one foil in these as well all right so let's check these out first pack of the day <clears throat> okay, I'm not going to read them all. I'll just quickly go through them all because uh, anything that is plus up in value, I will go ahead and uh, put it up on the screen so that way you guys can take a look at it and you guys know what we packed and what we pulled. <clears throat> Phyrexian Ravager, huh? Enters the battlefield, draw one card, and you lose one life for three mana? Eh, that's all right. And if you notice, a lot of these have these have the original set that they came from, but Mystery Booster Box has a, a Planeswalker symbol in the corner. That's how you know, that's how you can differentiate between the, the the original set that it came from or from what it was, or well, I guess the set they're showing that it's printed from. Um, yeah, so then here is this. this ooh, we got another one. So this one is Hidden Stockpile, huh? Tectonic Edge. See, this one came in the Commander deck. Sacrifice it. Destroy target non-basic land. Activate this ability only if opponent controls four or more lands. Bear Cub. Huh, that's pretty cool. Especially since I wanted to build a bear deck. Temp oh, Temporal Mastery. Take an extra turn after this one. But the Miracle cost for two. Alright. And a Mist Hollow Griffin, which is actually a foil mythic rare. Okay. Flying, you may cast him from exile. Pretty cool. Not too shabby for the first pull. All right. Check out the second one. Let's see what else we got here. So, depending on what we pull, is definitely going to upgrade in the, uh, the video for gameplay that we'll see. That we normally play. Okay. Soul Warden. Gone missing. Castaways Despair. Dune Beetle. Nameless Inversion. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and loses all creature types until end of turn. Goblin Assault. Rune Mage Goblin. Borderland Explorer. Ravu per March. Deny Reality. Crystal Chimes. What is this? Commander 2015. Return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to your hand for three mana. Huh? Uh... Okay, Bloom Tender. For each color among permanents you control, add one mana of that color to your mana pool. Okay. Hmm. Each color among permanents. This is probably going to go in my Zakama deck. That's actually pretty good. 
Oh, Nin the Pain Artist, huh? Pretty good commander right there. For those of you that play commander. Lightning Storm, oh, from Cold Snap. Foil, huh? Not bad, not too shabby for the second one. Let's go down to the third one. So we got a total of, I think this one comes with 24 boosters. Let me see. I'm not quite sure. I think it's 24. I'm pretty sure. We are on number three. All right. Throne Band Standard Barrier. Avon Battle Priest. Courier Vendor. Fairy Invaders. Murray's Malice. Scuttling Death. Okay, Blast Fire Bolt, Swashbuckling, Yovani's Sheep Herd. You know what I've noticed so far? I haven't gotten any reprints. So let's, huh, let's hope we keep that going, huh? Priest of Titania, add green mana to your mana pool for each elf you control. Or at least each elf on the battlefield, actually. Putrefy, okay. Mindstone, okay. I could have used I could use another mindstone. Font of Mythos. Huh. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws two additional cards. Not bad. That would be fun. That you want you want people to be your friend in commander? That's the way to do it right there. Prey Caesar Dragon. Huh, never seen this before. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Funeral Charm. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? A foil Funeral Charm. That is beautiful. Target player discards a card or target creature gets plus two, negative one until end of turn. Or target creature gains Swamp Walk. That is absolutely gorgeous. I am so glad I got that. I'm curious. I wonder how much that one is. All right. That is, see, you know, man, that funeral charm is, that old art with the, uh, being foil, oh man, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Pack number four. Devil Thorn Fox, Dragon Bell Monk, Guard of Gamoza, Ring Warden Owl, Reckless Spite, Carry on feeder, okay. Tibble's yeah. Tibble's Roger, Vessel of Vitality. Man, I pulled so many of these when I played pre release for uh, uh, I can't think of the name right now, but you, you know which one that is. Fierce Empathy or Empath, sorry. Pouncing Cheetah with Flash, huh? Okay, we got Maverick. Ash Barons. Oh, an Ancient Den. Okay, I didn't know these were in here. Not bad. Eldric Evolution. As an additional cost, sacrifice a creature, search your library for a creature card, convert a mana cost X or less, where X is 2 plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana. Put that card onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. And then Chimney Imp. Okay. Not bad. All right, let's go to pack number five. So far, not too bad, not too shabby for the poles. War Behemoth, Wake Rec Reflections, Amass the Components, Lay Claim. I got a little mum in here, Zombie Jackal, Druid Sentinel. Madcap skills, enchant creature. McKindy slide runner, silk weaver. <laughs> okay, we got a <laughs> we got a unicorn tiger. It looks like <laughs> I've never seen this guy before. He's a cat beast. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Riptide crab, vigilance crab dice. Draw a card. Okay. Simic locket. Okay. Pretty cool. Doomgape. Hmm. Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. He's a 10-10. Elema Archive. And the foil is Game 
Trail Changeling. All right. Next, next, next. Number six. Look at that. I'm already losing counts. Number six. Number six. Let's see which one it is. Jiminy Sassafras. I can't even open this thing. Alright, as Ben Runemark, Kather's Champion, Failed Inspection, Mana Leak, huh. Nakana Assassin, Cower in Fear, Crowd's Favor, Everex, Watcher in the Web, Thrashing Bontadon, which I love you for three mana to sacrifice him for <laughs> destroy target artifact or enchantment. I love this card. Boros Challenger. The Short Sword. Okay. Jushi Apprentice. Reality Scrambler. Ooh, and Lich's Mirror. Hmm. This looks cool, but I mean, will you, will you ever really use it? Especially for, I mean, our channel is based off of Commander and Brawl. Would you ever use it in Commander? Probably not, but the art on that is actually really nice. Let's take another look at that. Pretty freaky, huh? Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. Let us open the next booster. Yes, yeah, Steve, still no reprints yet, huh? Not bad. I'm kind of liking that. I guess out of 1,100 uh, reprints, you're probably most likely not going to get reprints, but that's all right. Crashing Tide, which is probably better that way that we don't get the reprints, or not reprints, I'm so, um, duplicates. Oh my god, I got a Demonic Tutor. Yes, I needed another Demonic Tutor, and I am so happy right now that I pulled that, because I was going to go out of my way to go get one for my Kyrick deck. Or, I'm sorry, not for my Kyrick deck, for my Hogak deck, and I am so glad I pulled that because, oh my god, that just made my day. It may be only a $25 card, but I am so happy right now because that was one of the reasons why I bought the Mystery Booster. That I am so happy right now that I pulled that card. Thorn of the Black Rose. See, and back then, it's considered a uh, uncommon, huh? Pretty cool. Thorn of the Black Rose. Brazen Buccaneers. Oh, man, I can't believe I pulled a Demonic Tutor. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting overexcited for a $25 card, but still, I am super happy right now. This this just made my day. I mean, obviously, it's not worth the box, but it, it, it definitely, definitely made my day. Pierce the Sky for 2 mana, 7 damage. Pierce the Sky deals 7 damage to target creature with flying. Wow, that's... Damn, that's actually kind of, it's actually kind of beast. I kind of like that. Larger than life. Oh, hypno sizzle. A millery spear, which I I needed one of these, so I'm glad. So far, so good. The eater of days. See, I <laughs> I've I've always liked this card, but I never knew what to put him in because it's when he comes into play, you skip your next two turns, right? So it's kind of like for four mana but he's a nine eight it's kind of like a it feels like a waste of a card right to even put him onto the field but when you have a card that you know what that disables enter the battlefield triggers it's kind of like huh i don't know it's i've I've always liked him and that was the reason why i've never bought him just because of that but i don't know pretty cool black market black market huh whenever a creature Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And last one is Billfire Lage. Would you look at that? Look at that foil, huh? You got that creature. Oh, man, I think it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, man, this this is... Oh, I'm so glad I bought this thing. Okay, next, next up, next up. All right, 
as soon as I can get this thing open. We don't want to rip the cards inside now, do we? Apologize for the camera shake there. That was so unprofessional. Divine Favor. Youthful Knight. Condensin. Coral Trickster. Demon's Grasp. Plague. Rusakala. Mog Flunkies. Sun Crowned Hunters. Nimble Mongoose. <laughs> For one mana, Threshold. As long as you control seven or more cards, you know, I think it's plus two, plus two. A tree Warrior. Skyward. The Eye Prophets. The top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand. Hmm. Interesting. Crumbling Necropolis. Nemesis of the of Reason. Okay. Chromatic Lantern. There you go. Is that two? Two rares? I might not pay. Oh, what is that? The Undead War. Whoa, would you look at that? An Undead War Chief foil. Oh, man, that is gorgeous. Would you look at that? Oh, man, he is definitely going to my character. Man, that was... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Well, I was trying to hurry up so the video is not 30 minutes long, but it kind of looks like it's going to be that way. So, while I'm trying to open this pack here, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, Give us a like, subscribe, and as always, don't forget to uh, check us out on Instagram. We we post all our upcoming videos and, uh, you know, Foil Fridays and Mill Day Mondays sometimes. So check us out there if you have an Instagram. Soul Summons, Dauntless Kather, High Tide Hermit, Shimmering Scale Drake, Versius Null, Fungal Infection, ugh. Forge Devil, Desperate Ravings. Would you look at that? In prison already. Tukumus Thalid, Greenwood Sentinel, Azorus Charm. Okay. I don't have a blue or white deck, but that would be good. New Benilia. Huh. Enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, scry one. Yeah, it's not so much. Ooh, okay. Would you look at this guy? Hawkin. I've seen him before, and I wanted to put him in my zombie deck, but his ability... You may play from your graveyard, but not from anywhere else. As long as he is in play, you may play knights from your graveyard. When he is put into the graveyard from play, you lose two life. Huh. He's alright. Nothing special. Oh, would you look at that? Arch of Orzaka. And last, okay, Bramblewood Par Paragon for the foil. Would you look at that? It's actually a really good elf if you need if you ever if you have a mono green elf deck. He's really good. Alright, another pack, another pack. Don't know what pack number this is. If you were paying attention, leave a comment down below. Tell me what it is, because I already forgot. All right, Empathol Shield. See, I mean, I still have not seen a duplicate reprint in these, so that is pretty good. Core the Sky Climber, Mimic Wall, River Serpent, the Night Watch, Feeble of Domination, Molten Rain, the Rolling Thunder, Centaur Corsair. Pinion Feast. Man, so reading some of these cards, it's like I feel like I don't know how to read. It's got, oh, you go for all oh, you Cascade players, huh? Fountain of Renewal. Uh, oh, I thought that was the foil for some reason, but it wasn't. And for the foil is Delay, huh? Interesting, interesting. Counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, remove it from the game with three time counters on it instead. And instead of putting it into the owner's graveyard, if you don't have suspend, it gains suspend. All right. All right. Number. 
I don't know, but it's number something. I hope it's not almost done yet. All right, the Ox. Inspired Charge. River Darter. Signaled Starfish. We got a little zombie here with Unearth. Smithering Helix. Oh, that, that art is actually really nice on that. I kind of like that. Charging Monster Tour. Okay. Okay. Vulgan Duelist Siege Worm. Okay. Hardy Veteran. Bitmanus Blast. Another Cascade card for you. Sandstone Oracle. Ooh, okay. Athros, God of Passage. Would you look at that? That's our Mythic Rare right there for this one. Oh, okay. Ashley's Who Smiles at Death. Man, I can't believe I got a Mythic Rare in this one. And the foil. Ooh, Maelstorm Nexus, huh? Would you look at that? If I, if I recall, I'll put the price up on the screen, but if I recall, I think that's like a $10 card. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, this pack I didn't get for value. I got to upgrade the decks, but whatever doesn't go in the decks, it's it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. I don't know. Maybe we might do a draft with these. But how can you do a draft when it's already open, you ask? Mm, that's, a good, that's a good point. Daring Sky Jerk. God's Willing. Okay. Wield Fast Wingsmith. Whiplash Trap. Dark Withering. Yeah, that was horrible. Grixis Slave Driver. Foundry Street Denzen. Mog War Marshal. Yvian Elder. Commander 18, this one was, huh? Elvis Visionary. Fusion Elemental. Would you look at the art on that bad boy? Five colors, huh? He's an 8-8 eight, eight for five colors, huh? Wow. Oh. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool art. Oh, he's got all the elements there, huh? That's really cool. Really cool. Haven't seen that one before. All right, we got a Meyer here. Oh, what is this? That is pretty cool. Sacrifice creature, target creature, or target player. Discards two cards from his or her hand. Plays this ability only any time you can play. Uh, well, it's not a very good card, but the art is actually really good. Okay, for all those cat decks out there, we got the Abdenormed Pouncer. Double strike. Oh, no way. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Loom Thread Field. Creatures get plus zero, plus one. It's got Morph. The card's okay itself, but the fact that it has this old school bordering around it and that it's foil is absolutely gorgeous. Would you look at that? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 23 minutes in. Let's get these going. Let's get these cracking. All right. Okay. Yep. Let's just rip these cards in half, huh? Wow, this is embarrassing. Maybe I should just edit it out. Who's winning? Who's winning? The mic or the paper? Apparently, it looks like it's the paper. There you go. All right, let's pull these out of the sleeve, and let's get going. Wall of a Thousand Cuts. Knight of the Tusks. Man, there's a lot of knights in here. Maybe I'll build a knight deck. Sailor of Means. Bastion Inventor. Corpse Hatch. Absorb Vis. Curse of Opulence. Ethralling Victor. Ew. Um, that art is actually really cool. Pulse of Masara. Confir Strider. It's a 5 1, huh? There you go if you're building a. Uh... Huh, it's got hexproof. Okay. Salvage Twister. Another commander card. Crows and Verge, huh? Sacrifice Crows and Verge. Search your library for a force or a planes card. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. There you go. That's a that's a budget fetch land right there. Pretty cool. We got another god. What are the odds of getting two gods in this pack? And we just had the gods come out from Theros. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mind Shatter. Target player discards X cards at random. 
Okay, and the foil is Pull of Eternity. Put target face up card that's removed from the game on into the its owner's graveyard. Okay, any card that gets exiled. There you go. Oh, 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 you gotta hurry it up, hurry it up. And we are paper is winning this again. Apparently, magic doesn't want us opening these because they are making it difficult. I know what you're thinking. Just use the scissors, Mike. They're right there next to you. But we can do this without scissors. Because back in the day when scissors didn't even exist. Okay, Eniko Bondkin. Disenchant. Ooh, I shouldn't be excited over Disenchant, but I love that card, even though it is just a common. Okay, we got a one-eyed monster with hexproof. We got a pirate tier. Bliss Grub. Swamp Walk. If it dies, each opponent loses two life. Ghostly Changeling. Burst of Lightning. We got some Raptors. More dinosaurs in this deck. Or er, box. Overgrown Armasaur. Another dinosaur. Speaking of which. Fertile Grounds. Enchant Land. Whenever Enchant Land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional one mana of that color. Oh, Mortify. The Inflator. Ooh, got old art here. A Bambly Portal. Comes into play. Choose a creature type. Put a creature card from the chosen type from your hand into play. And you tap that for three, huh? Okay. And Chaos Warp. Oh, I thought that was the foil. I was like, wait a minute. A real Druid. Add one mana to your mana pool. Okay. It's all right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. The Chaos Warp I will most likely definitely use. All right. We got a stack of cards going on there. Come on. Oh, see. Mike won that one. All right. Let's see this. Dragon's Presence. A Johnny's Prime Maid. Which, if you're playing Arena, you've probably seen him a thousand times. Wind Drake. Carl M. Guide. Shriek Maw for Invoke. Wind Grace. Escalate. Generator Servant. Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Seek the Wilds. Look at the top four cards of your library. May reveal a creature or land card from them and put into your hand the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. Aura Gnarled. Shreed. Hatchling Meteorite enters the battlefield, deals two damage to target creature or player, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. It sounds like it would be good, but for five converted mana, I mean, I guess for commander it's okay, but even that, that's still a lot of mana. To... Assemble the Legion. Ooh, Odric Lunark Marshall. You've probably seen him, seen him in one of our uh, gameplay videos. Uh, Kacho plays him. And our foil is a Braid of Fire. All right, another Cold Snap foil. Would you look at that? Cumulative Upkeep. Add mana to your mana pool. So you're going to, wow. Actually, I think that is actually really good. I think this is, hmm. Somebody had this that played it. It was really good. I know this card's good. I just can't recall who, uh, who plays it in their deck. All right, all right. So we got some good value here. Good value so far. Let's check it out. Fear the resistance. Pastifism. Skitter eel. Something of knowledge. Alley strangler. Blessing of Bizolnook. Oh, look at that blade, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Goblin fire slinger. Lightning talons. Creeping Mold, Crushing Canopy, Sultai's Charm, there you go, Dismembel, Dis, what, is that an uncommon, yeah, Dismissal Backwater, and we got another god, people, we got three gods in this mystery booster box, I am curious if any other mystery booster box got three gods, if they're just throwing them in there because of Theros, or if it's just coincidental. Boros Reckoner. Oh, look at that guy, huh? Boros Reckoner. Pretty cool. He's dealt damage. He deals that much damage to any target. He gains first strike until end of turn. That's actually really good. Really good. Spike Feeder. 
Spike Feeder comes into play with two 1-1 one, one counters on it. Remove 1-1 one, one counter and from him and put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature. Or you can remove a 1-1 one, one counter from Spike Feeder and gain two life. That is a beautiful foil art right there. Beautiful, beautiful. And I absolutely love... I absolutely love the old art that are foil. They just they're just absolutely beautiful. All right, another 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 box, another pack. Let's do this. One, two, and all right. And if I recall, we still haven't gotten any duplicates in this deck in this box. So if I am wrong, please send a comment down below. And correct me. I am pretty sure. And I'm pretty excited that there is no duplicates. Although it would be nice to have another Demonic Tutor. I will say that. Can't get too greedy though. Now can we? Edenut Vanguard. Cancel. Peel from Reality. Infest. Okay, negative two. Kozilek. Enic the Tracker. Arunging Flame something. Static Builder. Okay. Return to the Earth. Oh, Baleful Strix. Nice. I love this card. He is just absolutely phenomenal in Artifact X. Evolving Wilds. Would you look at that piece of junk, huh? They actually put a Evolving Wilds in here, huh? Wow. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, in the beginning of the video when I said there's no lands, I was referring to basic lands, not um, lands like these, obviously. Which, this is such a waste of space. Hurricane. Okay, Hurricane. Would you look at that? Deals X damage to each creature with flying and each player. Hmm. Not bad. X and one green. Not too shabby. Ooh, Eureka the Tiger Shadow. Would you look at her? She is considered one of the top 10 commanders right now. And you probably have seen her in the gameplay videos from Top Gas Go. So if you wonder how she works, or if you want to see how she works, check out the other videos. I am so glad I pulled her because I've been wanting to build her, but it's not going to be good as good as Ray's, but it is, it is pretty cool and pretty nice to have her. And Conspiracy Foil. Would you look at that? As Conspiracy comes into play, choose a creature type. Creatures... Cards you own that aren't in play, creature spells you control, and creatures you control are the chosen type. Would you look at that foil? Like I said, the old art foil are absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And I'm loving that right now. Oh, okay, let's get it going. We're already 32 minutes in, and we have four. Oh, I am sorry. We have two, four, six. Man, we have eight boosters left. Oh, my gosh. I am so happy with today's pulls, and I just cannot believe it. I am stunned with what we have, and I am absolutely happy. Oh, would you look at that? We have Phyrexian Mana to start off the booster pack. I've always loved the Phyrexian Mana Symbols, and I wish they would just bring those back for a reprint. Uh, well, obviously, this is a reprint, but I mean, another set with them. They're absolutely phenomenal. Pegasus Courser, Silver Gold Adept, Negate, which is a beautiful color art right there. Induce Despair, Death Denial. Okay. Blowing your house down like the big bad wolf. That is what really this is um I really this is most recent set here. Anger or Rangers Gwill Adumdent Growth, which I think I have like seven thousand of those. We Dragonauts. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well Star Trek, Star Wars plane or not even oh no i'm sorry that is like two little guys right there flying through the sky cathedon huh when he dies you get three mana to your mana pool okay oh we got a lotus petal here i can't believe we got a lotus petal man this day is getting better and better i am just absolutely stunned with what these what we are pulling right now and i oh my goodness oh i'm about to have a heart attack and i don't know if i can finish this video here Lotus Petal, ooh, 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 would you look at her, Tyranna, now, 
I saw her, and she was originally going to be my uh, commander. I was going to build her, but then I was uh, I saw Kirik, and I, obviously Kirik is probably better than way better than her since Kirik you can use her for mana. But that's pretty cool that we got her too. And a Panological Worm, nine five for seven mana. While you search your library, you may play Panicle Worm from your library. Really, that is actually pretty interesting. Huh, really? While you search, while you are searching your library, you may play him from your library. Wow, that is, huh, interesting. I've never seen him before. Okay, another pack, another pack. Let's uh, open it up and whoop, flip it and let's see what we got. We got the Calvary Dismantling Blow. Thought Caps Collapse. Storm Sculptor. Would you look at that? A little Merfolk guy. Drowning in the water. Oh, actually, I don't think Merfolk can drown, but Blight Bat. Grim Affliction. Look at that art, huh? Look at that art. That's actually really nice. It's definitely for a proliferate. Deck Ancient Grooge. Hijack. Oh, what are you hijacking there? It's Jake from State Farm. Jungle Wayfinder. Fade into Antiquity. Exile target artifact or enchantment. But for three mana instead of destroying it. Wooly Thought Cater. 5 4 for three mana, huh? Black. Or black. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Red, green, and white. Chromatic Prism. Okay. Masters 25. When it enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card and then you can tap it for one to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Okay. Carrion Wanderer. I've seen him before. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're really doing changeling decks, then and actually, I think he goes. I think this this goes a lot better in a um, um, cascade deck. I think it would be a lot better in as long as creature is flying and is in your graveyard, and Karen Wanderer has flying, and same with everything else, and you know, cascade and 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 um, Golgari actually he would probably, he'd probably be good in. Goblin Pile Driver. Would you look at that? Protection from blue. And our foil card is Fate Spinner. Huh? At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player chooses a draw step. Uh, or that player chooses draw step, main phase, or combat phase. The player skips each instance of the chosen step or phase this turn. Okay. Three mana. Human Wizard. Creature. All right, all right, let's get these going. I'm already at 30 minutes. Oh, 40 minutes. This is going to be an hour box opening. No, that can't be. Nobody's going to watch this. Well, if you want to fast forward on the packs that I struggled with, you're more than welcome to. All right, let's go Chillbringer, huh? I mean, I, I'm not going to read all. I mean, I have to read it, I guess, for commentary purposes. Reading the Bones, Dread Drone. Thrill the Possibilities, another beautiful art. Looks like he's walking into a Venus flytrap or something. Demolish, Frontier Mastodon. I mean, do, do people even... Uh, if you, do you guys play Popper? Do you guys even like the commons? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys play Popper. I mean, or if you even want to see a video of us playing Popper. We, we, we'll do anything that you guys want us to do. Well, maybe not anything, but any gameplay you guys want to do. We mostly do Commander and Brawl, but if you guys want to see Popper, we'll do that too. Urban Evolution, huh? Draw three cards. You may play an additional land this turn, okay? I am Tread Crusher. Would you look at that big boy? Constingen Clasp. Basculus Collar, huh? Okay, nice, nice. Equip creature has Death Touch and Life Link. I like the Basculus Collar. It works pretty good. Ooh, look at that old borderline again, and it's a foil. Would you look at that? Spell Weaver. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh no, we're already forty minutes in. Let's get this done. I know what you're thinking. This is probably the slowest box opening because Mike can't even open. Paper. All right, all right, almost there, guys, almost there. Hang in there, hang in there. Don't leave just yet. We have three packs left after this one. Dragon's Eye Serpent, Fog Bank, huh? Storm Kick Patrol, Blood Rite Invoker, Arrow Storm, 
Faithless Looting. Okay. Mulch. You know, some something in your backyard there. Reveal top four cards of your library. Put land card you revealed into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. He is all right. The Survivalist. Gore Clan Rampager. Okay. Scarg the Rage Pits. Okay, Null Spire Dragon. Mm, yeah, okay, when it comes into play, you may discard your hand and draw cards equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. Ooh, Torment of Hellfire. I needed another one. I am so glad I pulled it. He's definitely going to help out. I am a black player. Definitely a black player. So it's always good to have extras. And our foil for this one is... Ooh, would you look at that dragon. Form of the Dragon. At the beginning of your upkeep, former dragon deals 5 damage to target creature or player. At the end of each turn, your life total becomes 5. What the heck? Creatures without flying can't attack you. Okay, not too shabby, but if you really are desperate and want your life down to 5, this is the way to do it. He is for 7 converted mana. It's a foil from 8th edition. Not too shabby. I like the art. It's pretty cool. The card itself, eh, you know, if you really... All right, we got three more, three more. Oh, let's try to beat that hour limit. We are at 40 minutes. And once again, the packs are kicking my patonk donk Okay. The Horde Chief Arrest here. Catalog. Here, Elimination. Doomed Distenter. That's pretty cool, huh? A little purple smoke on that. Dino Charge for one. Boiling Earth. The Path of Warden. Alpine Grizzly, another bear. Naya's Charm, huh? Naya's Charm deals three damage target creature. Return target card from the tap all creatures. Okay, not bad. Green, red, and white. Huh. Pretty interesting. All right, little puppy. Fling flare, familiar. Ooh, angelic destiny. Would you look at that? Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four has flying. First strike and is an angel in addition to its other types. When enchanted creature dies, return angelic destiny to your hand. Okay, not too bad. Debaters. Neil, at the beginning of your upkeep, put target creature card from your graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And the last card for foil. Oh, send triplets foil. Would you look at that? Send triplets foil. That's another commander I wanted to build. You know, if if I, if I could, I'd build every single commander that I love. But that is absolutely gorgeous. All right, foil send triplets. What are the odds? All right, you guys, we got two more packs. Let's get these going. And we are almost there. Just hang in there. Hang in there. Afra Protector, take vengeance. Clear your mind and pay attention to the video. Metallic Rebook, Dread Return. There you go. An uncommon that allows you to. Uh, Bring cards back from your graveyard for four mana. That's actually pretty decent. Driver of the Dead. Would you look at that? Herman Munster, right on there. Uh, shenanigans. Okay. Flame Waver Invoker. Life Spring Druid. Get to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Pilaguk Worm. Looks like a pesticide. Lar Mage Binding. You got it. It's a character right there. Binding Soul Eater. That's freaky right there. That's something from Stranger Things. And we've got more Phyrexian uh, symbols, which I absolutely love. You could pay two life or a white to tap a target creature. Huh, not too shabby for an uncommon, actually. Huh, that's not bad. Okay. Would you look at this? We got an impending disaster. During your upkeep, if there are seven or more lands in play, sacrifice. Oh, well, and you get to destroy all lands, huh? What set is this from? I don't know what the, I don't know what set that's from. If you guys know what set that's from, leave a comment down below and let me know. So, okay. Shamanic Revelations. Draw a card for each creature you control. You gain four life for each creature you control. With power four, or if you control a creature with four, with power four or greater. Okay. And our foil is. Oh, 
would you look at that? Carathias Titan of June. Seven converted mana cost legendary creature. All right. When he comes into play, gain control of all dragons, then untap all dragons. Other dragons you other dragon creatures you control have haste. Not too bad. Is he good for a commander? Eh, I mean I mean what dragons are you can control if unless you're gonna be playing another dragon deck, but to give all your dragons haste, that's not too bad. Alright. Would I build him as a commander? Probably not, but it's a pretty cool card. Alright, so last pack, people. Last pack. This is going to be it. What cards are you guys expecting to see in this last pack? Let me know. Let me know. And let's get this done. Last but not least, what do you guys want? Thinking I'm going to pull? If you think I'm going to pull a Mana Crypt, you are most likely wrong because... I don't even expect a mana crypt in here. State Fast Sentinel, Looming Altosaurus, Embodiment of the Spring. Oh, yeah. That's a weird one. Sea Lock Monster, Demonic Vigor. See, they got me. They thought it was a Demonic Tutor. For one, imagine Demonic Tutor for one. Oh my god. Pick Keeper, Barrage of Boulders. Okay. Seismic Stomp, Nettle Sentinel. Oh, we got Rancor. Would you look at that? We actually got a Rancor, huh? <laughs> when it's put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return Rancor to its owner's hand. Nice. Obelisk Spider. Okay. All right, let's get this. Okay, we got a dual land here. Uh, Sentinel Wall. Okay, we're not at the rares just yet. We're not at the rares just yet. Covated Jewel. Don't even know what that is. What is that? Commander 18? Or what? At three, enters the battlefield. Draw three cards. Okay. Oh, for six mana. At three mana of any color to your mana pool. Whenever one or more creatures an opponent controls attacks you and that aren't blocked, that player draws three cards and gains control of this jewel. Well, well, we got a Gilder... What? This is... Interesting. Okay. Gilder Baryon. Oh, it's got the untap symbol for three mana. Untap... Oh, this is... Uh, okay. I, I didn't even recognize it when I saw it. Oh, my God. For all you turtle lovers, there's a turtle right there. I didn't even recognize this guy when I saw it. Uh, for each counter on target permanent, put another one of those counters on that permanent. All right, so there you go, people. There is our mystery booster box. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video. And let us know if you like the box openings or if you don't. Thank you for watching Tapcast Go. And as always, like, subscribe, and check us out on Instagram. Thank you for watching.